Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're back here in the historic port city of Fremantle. If you remember, we did a city tour here a couple of months ago. If you haven't watched the video, please do watch it. It'll give you more information on the top attractions to see here in Fremantle. This time we're doing a twilight tour of Fremantle, which will give you a different perspective of the city during sunset twilight until the early hours at night. We're currently at the renowned Cappuccino Strip. We're going to come back here later to explore this area further. For now, I'm feeling a little peckish, so I think we'll need to grab some snack. So let's go. We're now inside the Fremantle Market. It's one of the top attractions here in Fremantle opens every Fridays to Sundays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you're in Fremantle, say late afternoon from 5 p.m., you still have about an hour to wander around and have some snacks. And for a bit of snack, I've chosen this wonderful pastries from Goslem. It's a Turkish dish. It has mushroom, spinach, and feta inside with hummus uh, sauce, dipping sauce. Mm. You must try it, it's really delicious. The smell of woody is really so enticing, it makes me want to eat some more, but I want to leave some space for later. For now, why don't we see some beautiful sunsets? We're now here at the Fremantle Roundhouse. Although it's closed now, we're still able to come here and hang out, enjoy the beautiful sunset. Also, the atmosphere at this time is more relaxed and definitely more romantic. We're now here at the Bader's Beach House, located just between the Roundhouse and the Fishing Boat Harbor. This is another perfect place to have drinks and dinner while you watch the beautiful sunset. This is also a favorite amongst locals and this gets very, very busy on the weekends. Well, cheers everyone! I love coming to Fremantle Harbor around this time, especially in the summer months when it gets so hot during the day. But around this time, the water cools down, so it's a bit more of a pleasant experience walking around the harbor and wandering around. You will find that the bars and restaurants here are open till 8, 9 or 10 p.m. So plenty of time to have a snack or have dinner with friends and family. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti is raining. This is also the famous tourist wheel located just beside the fishing boat harbor. And to go for a ride this time is definitely more special and an experience not to be missed. So let's go for a ride.
really wonderful to be in here. We're on top of the wheel <laughs> and this experience is so thrilling. It's so magical to watch the sunset and then now the twilight. You can see all the different colors from the lights. Fremantle becomes so magical at this time. It takes about 8 minutes to, um, for the ride, but it's really worth the experience. We're now in front of Fremantle Prison, a World Heritage listed site and should be on one of your list of places to see while you're in Fremantle. It's closed at this time, but every Wednesdays and Fridays at around 6.30 p.m., the Fremantle Prison offers torchlight tours where the guide can show you around the site and tell you stories of pain and execution or executions gone wrong, pain and suffering from the inmates. Really quite scary, not for the faint-hearted, but if this type of experience and tour is for you, please see the description down below. And we're back here at the Cappuccino Strip located at South Paris Fremantle from the corner of Bannister Street into Paris Street. But before we continue everyone, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. We started this channel not long ago, but the amount of support and positive feedback that we're getting from you is so inspiring and encouraging us to continue delivering better and quality videos for the future. So thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. And so, the cappuccino is super known for its cafe scene during the day, but around this time, especially on the weekends, becomes the center of entertainment here in Fremantle. And the best part, it's only five minutes walk from the train station, so very accessible to everyone. Coming to the Cappuccino Strip around this time is definitely the place to be for a good night out at Frio. But if you don't want to compromise on your experience and avoid the crowds, maybe avoid coming on the weekends. But tonight, for example, it's Thursday night, not as busy, but you still get to enjoy the many bars and restaurants the Strip has to offer. So let's go find ourselves some drinks. You have the time of your life every single night The confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters sink cold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. And for drinks, we're now here at Sale and Anchor, located just opposite the Fremantle Markets. I love coming to Sale and Anchor, especially in the summer months. 
staying in the balcony, one of the traditional iconic pubs you'll ever find here in Fre Fremantle. Thank you guys for watching and supporting our channel. I hope to see you in our next video. In the meantime, stay safe and be happy. Bye bye everybody and cheers. <laughs>